afternoon in the beautiful Langdales. I've just came from the old dungeon again. Uh, up the Mickledon Road. And just before I parked the car at the old dungeon girl, who did I bloody bump into? But Mr. Mark Thompson on his travels to spirits and looking quite fit so I had a bit of a natter with him and then came back to the car and uh, had a look at the maps just looking at that bird I haven't got a clue what it is um, and I just thought I'm gonna go and check this uh, wild camping spot out that I was going for a while back Swing around Stake Pass. So I'm going to have a plodge up there to go to Mart Dale Crag. I think it's Mart Dale Crag, and apparently that's supposed to be a lovely spot for a wild camp. Uh, but breezy today, and it's forecast to get a bit uh, higher the gusts. So tops up to Pike the Stickle then probably across to Harrison and then stop and have a little natter with a with a little man there's a um, I don't want to feel as though I'm bloody stalking them but uh, there's a girl in there with her three kids she's been wild camping I think she's on my girly wild camping group and uh, I don't know whether I go and say hello or not. Sometimes you just think people come here for peace. So they don't really want to be disturbed, you know. Um, oh, I'll just leave it. Just leave it. I'm sure I've seen her before. I'm sure I have. So, up we go. Steak skill. Steak gill. I'm glad actually the sun's not uh, beating down as it was on the first 15, 20 minutes because it's not good in the blistering sun. It's hard going. So I'll come out when I get on the tops. <laughs> well, it's a lovely pass. Uh, this steak pass is lovely. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle, not too steep. So about halfway up it. And it's been okay. Sun's trying to get out now, it's just getting really, really hot. So that's why we're heading up to that pass. So here's Nickledon. Looking towards Pike of Lisco. And Ling Mal. Sorry, Lingmoor. God, I can't get my names right today. You can tell I've been out of Wayne Wright action for a while. And Bow fell and the crinkles is in the clag. But getting some gaps there. Phew! I was seeing two people today. I thought there would have been a lot more out, but I think this wind forecast probably put a lot of people off. Um, but it's died right off now, so it's lovely. Absolutely lovely.
you didn't know what that was when I first saw it. Bloody hell, they've done well to get that up here. They look pretty young like. Rossard Gill, go all the way up there, and then past Angleton, on the Esk Flight, and Great End, and on the Scarfell. But on the left here, I mean, what more do you want? So right up with the old man. for miles so I'm well and truly out the wind here but um, there's everything you want here there's loads and loads of shelter and there's no ferns or anything like that so it's, uh, you know it's nice to pitch your tent um, there's a couple of little tarns very very tiny tarns um, the map's not picking them up at all but they look okay for water, water for tea anyway to boil. It's just lovely. And then you can just have playtime on here, scramble, scrambling galore, to be honest. You can really, really practice your scrambling skills here. Yeah, the other the winds are gonna pick up. It's lovely and shout had this little lovely shout response.
down this gully here. So there's a cave. But I'll not venture down there by myself today. Maybe there's another day. Looks very, very screwy like. Looks very much like Jack's Rake. Not Jack's Rake, uh, Lord's Rake. Uh, but I'm sure it's there. I'm sure it's this gully. Nice bit of scrabbling for them. So, just got to make my way to the summit. Formations up here. I don't know what I want to do today. Right across the But obviously it uh, provides all the water for the Langdale Valley. Um, so, I don't know what's happened, I'll have to Google it when I get back.
actually I've done it the opposite way. Normally people come up uh, to Stickletown and then up to Harrison. many many times so I don't need to go on to the summit. The reason I've come out today is uh, well firstly to see Kismore and then I wanted to check out that Mart uh, crag for a future wild camp um, which is definitely definitely going to go ahead that I don't know when um, so it was just to check out that but you know your day out anyway it's not about you know bagging Wainwrights and bagging Monroe's and getting to summits it's just sometimes going wherever the music takes you and this is where I've ended up today and it's you know I haven't needed summits to give us that sort of like uh, satisfaction I think the views today have given me the satisfaction of being up high um, I've really enjoyed my day it's not over the water till you've had that post walk point. Five to seven and it is still blistering hot Whew, what an epic walk absolutely gorgeous too hot really so just go back from your car now typically clear blue skies Crinkles and both fell. <sighs> My feet absolutely kill it. Long time since after the seven hour day. I've only had a couple of stops as well. So I can t I can taste this uh, this beer. I can actually taste it. <laughs> you know what? You just want something freezing cold. A welcoming sight at last. Come 360 all the way around. Crack and do. 